Welcome back. This is part 2 of how to install a 20 by 40 by 12 steel truss pole barn kit. Here we will go over setting the trusses and purlins. First, lay the trusses out on a level surface. Put the trusses together with the bolts and nuts provided. Lay it out with all bolts finger tight then come back and tighten with the wrench. Now, lift the trusses up by your desired method. Here we used a manual duct lift. Secure trusses properly and use necessary safety gear. The trusses are heavy and could cause injury or death if they fall on someone. This is another way to lift trusses. It's a 30-foot truss being lifted by a towable man lift with the truss being tied off in two different areas of the truss. Please handle carefully. Now, bolt the trusses to the post. Trusses always sit on the center of the posts. Here we are using 7 inch carriage bolts and we're pre drilling the holes. In some applications, we use lag bolts instead. This is the truss brace. Scab two pieces of lumber together as shown. Then drive a stake in the ground and fasten the brace to the stake. Next, when the truss is plumb, fasten the brace to the bottom of the truss. On wider buildings you should use two to three braces like this. This brace will stay up until the building is complete. The first truss is plumb. Now, make the second truss plumb. Then, attach to the first ridge board. Do this for each truss. Then, install the boards along the bottoms on both sides. Once you've done this, you can drop back and fill in all the boards.
Next we need to get the overhang cut off and install the barge wrapper. We mark one foot from the outside of the truss at the top and at the bottom with a chalk line. Then, cut off each purlin of your marks from your speed square. Then install your barge wrapper. This is the end of part two. We are now ready to install trim and panels. Remember to always exercise caution. These guys do this work every day and take chances that you shouldn't.